Good morning everyone. You are on Laughing Museums and that's my second video on nothing. Well, nothing in Paris. And nothing in Paris is always interesting. Even if it's nothing, it's still interesting. Well, first because of this, obviously. It's this kind of building which is absolutely insane, right? I'm gonna shoot I love that street because last time I was there for some reason I found that uh, absolutely disc seller. Uh, the trash cans are still in the street. You got some little uh, Buddhas, some little fine shops right there. The building, a learning planet. Okay, good for them. Good for them, right? And you got the private conventions everywhere. I think that's in that little street. There's a guy who's selling a fantastic desk. And you can choose for private conventions everywhere. Which are absolutely lovely. That's Paris. They're finally getting proper parking lots for a bike. That city is really changing for the best. Uh, you can buy an apartment right here. No idea. Uh, I'm a jet cost, but I will say probably a couple of millions. <laughs> as far as you know, I'm feeling this kind because that's really interesting. Maybe that this shop. I'm afraid it was there. Yeah, I'm afraid that little disc shop did not resist the crisis of the coronavirus. I haven't been there in two years. Oh, and the sun is coming up. Look at that. Beautiful. Is that here? Yep. Nope. No more. No more disc shop, right? And then I'm going to take you to a little secret passion that I really, really like. Oh, I know take I hardly recommend that restaurant. It's a wine restaurant. It's a it's an Italian restaurant. The idea is really based on the, uh, the wine, according to the. Uh, okay, so if you are in this area, as we call the uh, Stamppool, and do not hesitate, jump. You got a few, a few options of streets. Let's uh, take care right there. Well, I used to take my goddaughter. I'm going to be 18 years old tomorrow day after, maybe a couple of days, yes. And these lovely little shops everywhere. They do some pottery as well. And you see how beautiful that neighborhood is. They got those lovely little houses for birds right there. One day I was taking guests right here and they got the surprise of having the super hold uh, shop. Oh yeah, it's still there. I'm so happy to show you this. And they're making hats. So lovely that I I got a good friend Sarah who used to do a job of making hats and I got another friend who's doing that Airbnb experience of making hats. So this used to be the limit of Paris, it's written right here. The Villa Saint Paul was built in the garden of the King Charles V and it's been uh, the Pope was from the 70s to 1981. Uh, of course, that uh, 81 date is not completely innocent, of course. We've got this beautiful Lebanon tree right there. We can't get the sun right here. They really did a fantastic job of uh, restoration as well. I know with that uh, Japanese teacher is making absolutely lovely in there. The kids are going to school. The use was fun of a basketball. I saw two o'clock with basketball right here because this is the uh, last hall right there. The church by Louis the 15 and behind this you got the school which is the biggest part of the defense wall uh, during uh, which was built around the Louvre in the 12th century, uh, 22 to 27 meter high, if that even means anything to uh, anyone. Last time I made a video about the fact that uh, uh, the socialist government is destroying school, that's proof of it, they have to find, and I think that's not innocent that they are trying to close that school, because that school is called Have Maria, so it's killing a Catholic school, so they're attacking uh, 
very firstly, uh, the, uh, any uh, teaching that is not a socialist uh, teaching. This is the Fernay Library. How beautiful is that, right? You can work in that place, right? That was built for the harsh bishop of Reims when he was coming to Paris. You got that bullet stuck in the wall up there. Maybe I'll explain that uh, one day. And that became, uh, and that's the street right there, this street here, uh, the one in the back right there, is called Rue du Figuier, because uh, after Henry IV and uh, the Queen uh, Margot decided to uh, split up, she could no longer leave uh, inside the Louvre, so you have to give her that little pied à terre. That's a special entrance to the carriage, beautiful gothic shape, by the way. And the Christian cross uh, shape has the windows, those beautiful little towers. Uh, so he gave her that little pied à terre. Of course, you can imagine when you've been queen in the Louvre. How do you feel about living here? It must have been very difficult. You can uh, imagine that. You can imagine that, of course. Especially knowing that after you got a new wife, you're going to start the lineup with a 13, 14, 15, and 16. Right? Ah, back on the river. And uh, yesterday I crossed here, but today I think we're going to be hit for today. Uh, there's a morning traffic in Paris. So yesterday, crossed on the side of the island just in front. Uh, on my last video, probably not going to be next one to each other. And uh, today I'm walking this way and trying to avoid the cars a little bit. I'm going to end that video soon because that is a box. Again, some people are running. Maybe I should step down and take a walk on the banks. Okay, why don't we do that, right? I think we can go this way. Okay, fantastic. So we can avoid the morning traffic. I still don't understand why people are taking their cars in the morning. I remember my lawyer friend that I crossed one day on the train and he was like really pissed that you couldn't drive that day. I'm wondering how the poor guy is doing uh, right now. Okay. Here we go. Still on my way to the Louvre and I'm going to work. I know this is going to be a lot of sound, I'm not even sure I can use any of that footage to be honest with you. But I just love coming here. I miss my skateboard, but it's way too wet anyway to use a skateboard today. So I'm glad I'm just, uh, just walking this just is good enough, I guess, right? And the view on the sun we had in here is absolutely amazing. You can really see the incredible quality of the private mansion. And that's about where we are right now, what the river is all about. So basically, I am right here. And I'm going, obviously, to the loo right there. But I'll tell you what I have to walk. Yesterday I was almost late. So I guess today I'm going to try to do a little better. And maybe get an extra coffee on my way in. Right? I hope you're enjoying the quiet of this morning. It's been raining yesterday. And you got the really beauty and the quiet of the reflection of the building since the other if you've been watching a lovely museum thank you so much for joining hope you enjoyed it uh don't forget you can buy my book love your way so well, the next book on painting is coming soon 
And uh, no matter what you do, if you're not doing it as well, well, you might be doing it wrong. Take care.